now this i wanted to share with you this this nice uh, picture because i wanted to let's say share share the the the, the history behind the name i was uh, i was reasoning about how to call this this initiative i've been working on it for quite a quite a long time um and so it uh, has always uh, being clear to me that the idea, main idea was creating an environment where, you know, very similar to the idea of, of, of Robot Wars, you know, that uh, TV series where uh, people were building robots and then making them fighting against one against the other. Yeah, I, I wanted to create something similar, similar for AI agents. Mm, so the idea in my mind was to create like a, a dueling AI, uh, AI arena that is basically the, the name, uh, the payoff of uh, the Ambra. And uh, in this sense, I asked myself, okay, that would it, it would be really really um, nice to uh, and find a good name representing an important duel. So I started looking in the in the um, history uh, of uh, about fi finding uh, you know important as well as uh, famous but also particular duels. Of course, there are uh, quite a lot of uh, curious thing about uh, curious things about duels, like the one about Galois, the fam famous uh, mathematicians. You know, there are a lot of uh, uh, duels in the hi in history, but uh, one th that uh, um, captured my attention was the one that is depicted in this in this image. It's uh, basically the only duel carried out by uh, by uh, women in history uh, i mean at least uh, a legendary one and you see here the two uh, one one woman is is called isabella de carazzi the other one is is called uh, <clears throat> the Ambra of Potinella. So you can understand that basically I was trying to have a name and uh, <clears throat> the, this uh, uh, women, uh, they were fighting for the love of a man. And so it was, you know, kind of a really, really cool, cool a cool idea behind uh, this legendary duel. And so I, I decided that the Ambra was uh, the name I was looking for. And by the way, it is pronounced, I mean, I'm pronouncing it the Ambra because the Ambra was uh, an Italian woman. And so even if sometimes uh, I happen to call it Diambra because you know the the type of, of uh, name pronounced in in English, but that's that's the the history the history behind the name.